hey, hey, Joe Bob Chamberman here. I first of all would like to apologize. I know I haven't gotten any content up in a couple weeks. I apologize for that. Depression is sometimes a hard thing to deal with. Yeah, it's, it's really taken me down the past couple weeks. Anyways, but I got up, I got over myself, I'm out of my little hole, and we're back at it, man. Today is Memorial Day, May 29th, 2023, the last Monday of May. And what I've decided to do, decided to do a Memorial Day episode. So I have a little bit of history of Memorial Day, and then I've chosen a, a fallen soldier from the Korean War to kind of give a history on just a little bit. I think that would be a great way to be in the spirit of Memorial Day, to stay in the theme of Memorial Day. So. So that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, we'll just jump into it. So Memorial Day was originally called Decoration Day, which came from the practice of decorating graves with flowers and wreaths and flags. Memorial Day is exactly what it sounds like. It's a day to remember the lives lost in service to our country. It started way back in the 1860s. So I'll take you to Woodlawn Cemetery. It's in Carbondale, Illinois. Um, now this was not the first. There was already, like I said, Decoration Day going on. And so there was little various celebrations across the country, you know, not one centralized, not one uniform celebration, but there was all these little celebrations and things like that in memory of soldiers fallen, especially after the Civil War. So Woodlawn Cemetery, Carbondale, Illinois. The first memorial service in Illinois, and this is one of the first in the nation, April 29th, 1866. The story. Three Civil War vets are waiting for church to start, and they uh, witnessed a young woman with two infants. The woman placed the flowers on the grave, and then she knelt down to pray. The veteran, following the young lady's lead, began collecting wildflowers and placing them on all the soldiers' graves in the entire cemetery. Well, I guess that continued to inspire them because they went and talked to uh, community leaders at the time and ended up arranging a parade of veterans and a memorial service, the actual, the very following Sunday. So they, they set up this uh, memorial service with the community leaders and over 200 veterans gathered uh, that following Sunday and were led in a procession by General John A. Logan and Colonel E.J. Ingersoll to uh, Woodlawn Cemetery. When they arrived, silence fell over the group. They, they had a, a, a long moment of silence. Then they were led, led in prayer, and then finally General John A. Logan spoke amongst his neighbors, because this is where General John A. Logan was from and grew up. And so he was just speaking amongst his neighbors. Yeah, so this event really inspired General John A. Logan, and two years later he ended up signing Order Number 11, and they ended up having the first actual observed service on May 30th, 1868, to honor the men who had sacrificed everything for their country in the Civil War. General John A. Logan proclaimed this to be a day to commemorate the soldiers who sacrificed so much their, their lives. In 1873, New York was the first state to designate Memorial Day as a legal holiday. After World War I, it became more of what it is today, an occasion honoring all who have sacrificed their lives in every war that America has fought in. Originally, it was just a way to honor fallen soldiers from the Civil War, and after World War I, it became a way to honor, honor all fallen soldiers from all wars. In 1971, Congress passed the Uniform Monday Act, proclaiming that the last Monday in May will forever be Memorial Day. That's what today is, the last Monday in May. Still going strong. I thought it would be really interesting to give a little history, a little something. Um, I got all this uh, information from PBS Online and ExploreCarbondale.com. So anyways, that that's basically what Memorial day is where where its origins came from so i thought that was interesting i thought that story about the uh, veterans sitting and watching that, that that poor lady put flowers on unmarked graves i thought that was a really cool story sad story but really cool inspiring story now i'd like to kind of give a, a brief um history on a soldier named kenneth r shadrick who fought in the uh, korean war 150,000 troops from South Korea, the U.S. and participating nations were killed, and 800,000 communist soldiers also lost their lives in the uh, Korean War. This is about 
one U.S. soldier, um, Kenneth R. Shadrick. Uh, the journalist who first reported his death mistakenly reported it as the first casualty of the war, of the Korean War, which was not true. Kenneth R. Shadrick actually died after the Battle of Osan, which the Battle of Osan was the first casualties, American casualties of the Korean War. So he was mistakenly reported as the first American casualty, and it was not true. Anyways, I just thought that uh, we should give a little bit of a remembrance of him. It's Memorial Day. So yeah, Kenneth R. Shadrick, he was born August 4th, 1931. He died July 5th, 1950. Uh, he was born in Harlan County, Kentucky. Um, he was one of 10 children. He grew up during the Great Depression. He moved with his family to a town called Skin Fork, which is 20 miles outside of Wyoming, West Virginia. And his father, Theodore Shadrick, he was looking for a job in the coal mines. That's why they moved down there. Kenny apparently was an avid reader. He enjoyed westerns and reading magazines. He also enjoyed riding his bicycle and the occasional hunt. It, it said occasionally hunting, so I guess he wasn't a huge hunter, but he liked to go occasionally hunting. During uh, Kenny's sophomore year in high school, he decided he wanted to play football. The school was so poor that they couldn't afford jerseys, so he had to borrow the money from his dad, $5 for the jersey. In October of 1948, the jersey was stolen from his locker, and he got so upset by it that he dropped out of high school. And Kenny's father, Theodore, later said that he felt that the stolen jersey indirectly caused his son's death. So he ended up on November 10th, 1948. Kenny left for basic combat training at Fort Knox, Kentucky. You know, since he was 17, he had to get his parents to sign all that paperwork and everything to enlist. He completed his training in February 1949 and sailed to Japan for post-World War II occupation duties. He spent a year in Japan before being dispatched to Korea in 1950 at the onset of the Korean War. Kenny was a uh, part of a bazooka team. And they were about five miles south of Osan in the village of Sojong Ni. They spotted a T-34 tank. Uh, they began firing on the tank from concealed positions. And actually, Kenny was asked, his buddy was taking photographs, or somebody was taking photographs. They asked Kenny if he could um, time the shot so that they could catch the flash on camera. And of course, Kenny agrees and uh, he timed his shot so that the flash uh, they could catch the flash on camera well when kenny rose from his position to see if he'd actually hit the tank that's right when the t-34 returned fire um hitting kenny in the chest and the arm and he died pretty much immediately on the spot he didn't have a wife he didn't have any kids um he was so young when he went in he was 17 sad I mean, he had a big family so he was survived by a big family you know that's there were people out there who remembered him yeah some some journalists reported him as the first death of the uh, korean war which was not true like i said this was he died after the battle of osan when we had the first cat casualties of the war. So that's really all I have for the Memorial Day. I just really kind of wanted to do something nice and uh, something in the spirit of Memorial Day. So that's what I did. I'm not in the military. I've never been in the military. My father was. A lot of my family was in the military. My grandfather. Something I ended up not doing. Um, I did try to join when I was 18, but there were some, some issues, so I wasn't able to probably lucky because I was 18 in like 2005. Things were pretty, pretty hot back then as far as what was going on in the Middle East. Anyways, yeah, so that's really all I got. Um, I wanted to make this about the Memorial Day, but I do kind of want to talk about me and the channel just because I do feel really bad for not having any content up for, for two weeks and I do apologize for that. Also, I know my unboxings have gotten a lot of hits, but I don't really want this channel to be about unboxings. I want this channel to be about, you know, basically whatever I want it to be about. Whatever I'm doing, um, whatever I feel like. Because like I said, I'm taking a journey to, to, to that next step in life where I want to be and I'm just taking you guys with me, man. And I'm hoping to inspire people along the way. That's what I'm doing. I thought today this would be really cool. Who knows what I'll do next week. Uh, the camper's coming along. It's taking, it's a little bit more tedious putting on that little poor man's fiberglass because of the wings. The wings are, are a constant source of frustration so far with this. I'm just like, why didn't I just build a box? Why did I have to add wings? Well, it's okay. It's just uh, every, every, uh, just the wings are adding a little bit more frustration to the process. But that's all right. So the poor man's fiberglass is a little bit more tedious. So it's taking a little bit longer. And then also, like I said, I've been really, I got, it's really depressed funk the past two Two weeks and it's really really been hard for me to get out of so that had a lot to do with it we're getting there so hopefully in the next week I'll actually hopefully have the uh, poor man's fiberglass on the tub done and have it ready to upload for you you people's 
yeah once again man um like subscribe comment comment please uh let me hear if you guys have anybody in your family that you would like to remember on this day uh, anything like that uh let me know what you think about this episode let me know what you think about other episodes you know just, just let, what's on your mind man let's hear it let's hear it so yeah Leave a comment. Let me know. Um, like I said, wait until 100 subscribers so we can do that computer build and computer giveaway. All that good stuff. Just exciting. Still going to school, you know, because that's key. That's a key factor to the um, next step of life. School has got to be done. That is probably the most important part of what I'm doing. So, but anyways, yeah, man. So I hope y'all enjoyed the Memorial Day episode. Like, subscribe, comment. Remember Kenneth R. Shadrick, August 4th, 1931 to July 5th, 1950. He liked to ride his bike. He liked to read. He's into westerns and magazines. Regular old dude, man. Old kid. Y'all have a good one, man. Love all y'all. Be good. Be kind. Remember, easier to love than it is to hate. Maybe not. I don't know. But it definitely takes a lot more effort to be angry and hate than it does to love. So just try to remember that, man.